Hello guys, uh, this is a follow-up <clears throat> excuse me, video to my blog post. <clears throat> I'm doing it again just to help myself. If it happens to help somebody else, that's great, but it helps me kind of record what I'm doing here. Um, <clears throat> one of the most helpful things is, uh, to me has been, <clears throat> yes, learning scales has been helpful to some degree, but learning scales in the, inside their chord forms has really helped me because I've become uh, more familiar with the tones as I've been listening, but also helps me understand that everything I need for a song, once I get the chord structure down, uh, to take a to learn to tab it out, well actually not tab it, just to play it out myself without having to be locked into tab, has uh, accelerated as I become more familiar with working with scales inside the chord forms. For, so for example, um, I've slid all the way up now I'm playing a B and with an F shaped chord because uh, my crummy camera on my computer uh, won't allow me it doesn't look as good when I slide way up to the top of the neck and try to swing the camera around this works better down here so anyway I'm playing a B so here's the B chord if I'm playing the song uh, let's say it starts on a B that's the root chord um, then uh, I know, well, I don't know for sure, but I know that's the chord. So I've got I've gotten myself familiar with the song, perhaps, by knowing the chord structure and then practicing just chord, just practicing chording through it and singing. So now I'm kind of familiar with that. I'm kind of familiar with the song. So now if I wanted to pick it out, which I will in a second, I'll, I'll give you an example. I would use this chord form to start, this F chord form played at the B, make it B, and play a scale. That's the root note. That's B. That's the first note in the uh, uh, B, scale of B. I'm busy. So you go B, A sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, a sharp, B. Just by barely moving my fingers anywhere, I right? got a whole scale right there of tones that I could pick out a melody. Um, <clears throat> let me back up a second. I don't know if you can see my hand position that well. But um, on the fourth fret, that's one. And then I bring my pinky over and, and play two frets up to go through the whole step. That gives me my A sharp. Two. And the middle finger is playing on the third string at the D sharp. And then the fourth note in the scale is right there. That's an E. And then the fifth one right there is an F sharp on the second string and on the second string uh, two frets up that would put me at the ninth fret there's the next tone which is uh, G sharp and then on the first string at the eighth fret A sharp and then ninth fret B the full scale well when I part of my practice routine is I'll I'll use this chord form and practice my uh, scale. I'll practice that form, then I'll practice a D shape, and I'll practice a bar um, to get more familiar with them so when I'm playing I can go ahead and pick out a melody. For instance, a simple melody of uh, When the Saints Go Marching In. And this, let me see, this is the one. one chord, I got my four chord, and I got my five chord. But I'm just going to pick out the melody using the one chord right now. Here we go.
So I played the whole song without even having to change chord positions. Um, uh, no, of course you're not. You're not going to play it that way. You're going to change positions like I did. You're going to go from your 1 to your 4 and your 5 and all that kind of stuff. But um, I didn't tab this thing out. Nobody taught me the song. I just know the melody in my head. So you know, I knew the chords. So I just practiced uh, messing around with it till I. I just played a claw hammer that way, you could probably hear it better than me plucking it with my strings without my picks on. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm trying. I'll probably try it again as I get clearer. Um, but then again, I could just go right here um, and play a B with a bar B. Let me see. Uh, one that I can see on my camera. Here's a B up here. Uh, let me see. Anyway, as you get, it's kind of hard to hold like this. I'm just, um, since I'm familiar with the tune now, and I understand how the scale structure works, it's helped my ear a little bit, but I kind of know where to go just from being familiar with the scale. In a bar form, on the fourth string, the, uh, uh, that's your fifth note in the scale. On the uh, third string, that's the root note, your one. And then the uh, three is on the second string, and on the first string, right here, that's your uh, fifth again. So you can play a scale: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the octave. I don't know. I'll try again later. This is my first try at trying to explain some of this stuff but it has helped me a lot that way I'm not tabbed uh, excuse me I'm not tied to tab and I'm not tied to somebody else's arrangement and I can kind of pick it out myself not that it's that good but uh, it is kind of freeing as I practice those things and I don't have to be stuck at playing at just one position I have to be playing stop playing up here at the neck at the top of the neck I go uh, or the bottom of the neck I could slide up here and play a C up here somewhere Rather than just having to memorize it and play it up here, I can kind of move it around the neck, and it's kind of freeing. Anyway, I'll try again more later, but this is my first attempt. This is a crummy camera, so it's hard to get everything in here to make it look right. Everything's distorted. Um, anyway, that's it for the day. Have a good day.